A longtime Bexley institution unites the Jewish community in all of central Ohio. It has its origins as the Schoenthal Center downtown on Rich Street. It was based on the settlement house model that was designed to Americanize European immigrants. But after World War II, there was a different need. A real movement began to create a true community center where Jews of every background, whether you were reform or conservative or orthodox, um, no matter where you lived, they really wanted to create a centralized location for all these people to meet. Located at College in Livingston on a campus with many other organizations that are vital to the Jewish community, it's technically just outside of Bexley. Still, it serves all sorts of people with countless activities. There were um, art classes, there were dance classes, there were lots of study groups and literary magazines, and all of these things came out of the Jewish Center. They were very much involved in the cultural life of Columbus and national cultural issues. The Jewish Center also became the home for a lot of organizations that had been scattered throughout the city. You see the Columbus Hebrew School move also from Rich Street, but they moved out east as well. A lot of the Jewish kids of Bexley, after school, would get on a, on a school bus and be schlepped schlepped to Hebrew school. And there may have been a couple who loved it, but uh, look, let's be frank, uh, no 11, 12-year-old boy really wants to be schlepped to, to Hebrew school. It really messes up your chance to play baseball and basketball and football in the backyard. But we did it. We knew we were going to be bar mitzvahed in another year or two, and that was something that uh, our families took very seriously. So all of the neighborhood kids would come there, all of the, the Berwick and Eastmore kids. You saw a lot of the Bexley kids. The swimming pool was enormous. They also would be involved with gallery players and have an actual, almost like a theatrical presentation in the pool. Gallery Players, which is the community theater group, was actually formed because Jews weren't able to get into other theater groups in Columbus. It gave the Jewish actors and actresses a community theater. In 1953, the play Hasty Heart was the first integrated theatrical production by Gallery Players, and in 1957, they did Finian's Rainbow, another hugely successful theatrical production, which was integrated and drew a lot of attention across the city. The bowling alley at the Jewish Center also was the first integrated bowling alley. Um, it was part of the B'nai B'rith Women's Bowling League. I have just joined the, uh, the Men's Jewish Bowling League. I joined it yesterday. I've got a team called the Introverts. And uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. The Jewish Community Center is something that is really more of the larger community. Uh, there are lots of people that work out there from all over the community. And there are people who send their children to the uh, camps in the summertime and to the preschool uh, during the school year who are not Jewish because it's a good quality program. An amazing variety of programs has been offered at the center. Everything from the City Art League show to country heartthrob Conway Twitty's comeback concert. He wanted this small group to actually be the cover of his new album that was coming out. So he did that with the AZA, which is the Boys B'nai B'rith Organization Group. 